Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're embarking on day 8 of our love yoga journey. And today's class has a very special theme. The theme is allies, because in life we have allies and sometimes they're unseen or underappreciated. They can be in the form of friends, fellow humans, companions, pets. And here is Sophie who has been my ally since she showed up into my life. And you can actually, if you go back to the beginning of this channel, to my first classes, you can see her as a puppy. She has pretty much overseen every class or 90% of the classes I've made. She's either in the classes or she's present and overseeing them and she's been my ally. So take a moment to think who the allies in your life are. They enhance your life in the sense that they support you. Sometimes they represent a side of you that is unexpressed. So they bring out str strength, power in you that sometimes you don't know you have. And that's why today's class will be a power yoga class because allies are what makes us strong. No man is an island and we all need the support of our village, of our community, and we need to appreciate those people and recognize them because oftentimes we only recognize them when they're gone and we forget to express gratitude for them while they're around us. So are you ready to begin? Let's flow with strength and ease. Start on the floor, seated in a comfortable cross-legged position, roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen under the crown of the head, take a few nice deep breaths through the nose, exhaling through the nose, and again. And we're going to move side to side, moving into the obliques, bringing a little bit of a swing, a curve in our movement. Shoulders moving, fluidity. And now we're going to circle around the base of the spine, rounding the back, coming to the side, forward, back, changing direction, really. Get into the move, feel it. Great, let's reach with the right hand out to the right, left arm reaches up and over, line them up in the same plane. Which means, by the way, that if you have a wall behind you, both of your shoulders will touch that wall and both of your hips will. All right, opposite side. Really open that right shoulder and that right rib cage spinning open. Great, coming back to center, reach in front of you, stretch. Come back to seated, hands over the heart, creating an intention for the class, taking up moment to think about the allies in your life who are your friends who are your support people your support system who are the people that quietly with no glory are on the site on the sites and helping you in unseen or seen ways
And let's be grateful for those people because they make us stronger and they help us, they root for us. They're rooting for us and they, they want to see us succeed. Inhale the hands over the head. Exhale them in front of you, coming onto all fours. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, round the back, look down. Inhale, looking up, lengthen the back of the neck. Exhale, rounding. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Coming back to a neutral spine and we're going to tuck the toes under and press back in downward facing dog. Lifting the tail upon as high as you can. Exhaling through the nose. Keep deepening your inhalations and Slow down your exhalations, observe your breath. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Or bring it in through however you can press the back heel away from you and keep the left hand down right arm comes up twist spinning here soften the belly reach over the head and press the right hip back so you're gonna feel that length from the hip into the fingertips keep opening the rib cage spinning it open towards the ceiling Press back into the back heel. Beautiful. Look ahead of you and come all the way up with a strong core. Exhaling completely. Let's bring the left hand onto the right knee, spin the right arm back and around, look behind you. Great, inhale, reach over the head. And we're going to shift the weight onto the right foot, keep your knee back and step your left foot next to the right and all the way back. Two, three, four, firing up the glutes, five, good. Exhale, both hands on the inside of the right foot. Walk your left foot all the way back, as far back as you can for a little stretch here. Tuck the tailbone under, stretching the hip flexors. Great, step it back, plank. Knee on the ground or knee of the floor. Chaturanga, pull the belly in, upward facing dog, and again, feel free to have the knees on the ground for the Chaturanga, if you're strong enough, just give me a regular Chaturanga, otherwise work on them, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step it through. Press the back heel away from you. Keep the right hand down. As you exhale, spin. Twisting here. Lifting the right arm up. Left arm up, sorry. and reach ahead of you, spinning the rib cage open. Mm -hmm. 
reach ahead of you, look ahead of you, press the back heel away from you and come up high lunge. All right, five step ins. One, two, really strong, strong core. Three, four, five, very good. And right hand to the left knee, bring the other arm back and around, look over your shoulder, soften and lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale, reaching up, exhale, both hands on the inside of the left leg, step the right foot further back, feel that stretch. Great, step it back, plank, knees on the floor or knees off the floor, listen to your body, but build your strength, core strength is a beautiful thing, chaturanga. Upward dog, optional, second chaturanga, downward facing dog, exhale, lifting the tailbone high, shoulders away from the ears, Shake your head. And here we're gonna do something fun. Left hand in the center of your mat. Right hand reaches all the way to the left ankle. And look under your shoulder here. A little bit of a twist. A little bit of a spinal adjustment. And coming out opposite side. Inhale, back to center. Let's take the right leg up. Step it between your hands, drop the back heel down, come up warrior one. Pressing the right hip back, left hip forward, reaching over the head, breathe. Find the ease in this pose. Find the pose that's within your body. All these poses are etched within the body. They're natural to us. They're not some manufactured artificial pose that we have to figure out how to hold. They're actually within us. And when we flow and find the ease in the flow, we find the poses and there's no resistance. Yoga starts to feel like a dance, like this. No resistance, absolute strength and grace type of flow. And let's straighten the right knee, square the hips, right hand on the right hip, left hand reaches forward. You can step your left foot a little further out so your feet are hip width apart or you can have it heel to heel alignment. Pull the belly in and let's take the right hand up, left hand down. Keep pressing the right hip back, revolving triangle pose. Parivrita Trikonasana. Reaching ahead. Right hand reaches up and over the head, palm of the hand facing down. Good. Exhale, both hands down. You can bring your hands above the knee, under the knee, or on the floor. All of these are fine. And lower the chest towards your extended leg. Stretching here. Beautiful, step it back, plank, knee on the floor or not, chaturanga, upward dog. I promise chaturanga will become effortless if you believe in it and put the work in it. Back to chaturanga, exhale, down dog. Good. 
and let's take the left leg up. Step it through. Drop the back heel down, heel to heel alignment or little wider stance here. You can step your right foot a little wider if that feels better in your body and bending the left knee, come up, warrior one. Keeping the left hip back, right hip rotates internally, forward two. Bring them a little more square with the front. We're not trying to be perfect or 100% aligned we're just working with intention the intention is left hip back right hip internally rotating and forward and feel your body here challenge it stretch build strength enjoy it really enjoy the poses And let's straighten the lead knee, left hand on the hip, right arm reaches forward and lower down, either on the outside or on the inside or on the foot or on the shin bone, revolving triangle pose, Parivrita Trikunasana. And you can reach ahead of you, palm of the hand turning down. Exhale down and straighten the back. Lower the chest towards your leg, even the belly towards the leg. Great. Step it back. Plank. Hold plank. So here in plank, we're going to, if you feel that your body is way over where your shoulders are, you're going to flatten the back, open the chest and drop the heart, drop the chest between the shoulders. Pull the belly in, extend the tailbone just ever so slightly down so that we're finding a real true core connection breathe holding that connection okay so this is going to be a power move you're going to take the right leg off the floor and try not to move the body bring the knee in so we're not trying to sway and move everything but we're really moving with power bring the knee in one two three step it back if you need to rest rest and opposite side you can do it let's go just three give me three one two three woohoo bravo and lower down good job chaturanga or cobra upward dog optional second chaturanga down dog exhale Inhale the right leg up, step it between your hands, drop the back heel down and we're going to open that left hip, externally rotating it, hips are facing the side wall, windmill the hands all the way up into warrior two. Once you're here, make sure that your right knee is aligning with your toes, direct it forward, sink a little deeper. Right knee over the ankle, shoulders relax, gaze relaxed. You can relax your jaw, even bring your hands and give your jaw a little bit of a massage to make sure that you're relaxing and building strength in these poses rather than too much 
and directed effort. Right. So we're going to turn the right hand palm of the hand facing up, reach up and over the head. Left hand walks down the left leg. Reach, keep your knee bent. Great, inhale coming out of this. Exhale, side angle, extended side angle. Right elbow over the right knee. Or for the very flexible ones, you can bring the hand down by your foot, whichever one. And reaching over the head. Very good. Bring both hands down. Lift the back heel up. Walk your right foot on the outside of the mat. Take a nice plank alignment of the hands. We're going to go for another power move. Press the back heel away from you and lift that right knee up towards your triceps in the direction of the triceps, maybe even touch if you can, and back. Try to sway as little as possible, knee to elbow, one, knee to elbow, two, three, and either rest or let's go for two more. Four, five, good. You can come back to this class after the 30 day challenge and by then you will be able to do five. If now you had to stop at three. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Chaturanga optional, downward dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Lower the back heel down, bending the left knee. Open the hips towards the side wall. Windmill the hands all the way up into warrior two. Breathe, look at your knee, align it. Let's turn the left hand up, reach up and over the head, walk the right hand down, the right leg, keep the knee bent. Inhale, coming out of this, exhale, elbow over the knee. Externally rotating the right hip, lengthening the torso. Both sides of the torso are lengthening here. You can lower down if you feel up for this. You can reach over the head. Feel how expansive this pose is. From the fingertips all the way into the foot. There is all this length opening. Great. Exhale, both hands down, lift the back heel up, walk your foot on the outside of the mat, spread the fingers open and take a nice plank and you will take your knee off the floor and let's go. One, two, knee to elbow, three, four, five, step it back, Chaturanga, up dog. I told you this is going to be a power yoga class. And Chaturanga, down dog. But get through this class because tomorrow is going to be a completely different variety of class. We're going to have all kinds of classes this week. Breathe. We we'll have fun, groovy classes, interval yoga, restorative. Inhale the right leg up. Step it 
Step it between your hands. And we're gonna go for warrior two one more time. Windmill the hands all the way up. Take warrior two. Check in with your body. Make sure that you're following the cues of your own body. That everything feels good in your body. Let's straighten the lead knee, hinging at the hips as if you're Imagine you're reaching away from your hip, so the hips are pressing back and you're reaching way ahead of your right hip. Lower down once you have created a lot of length and take triangle pose, extended triangle pose, externally rotating the left hip. Spread the toes open, press into all four corners of each toe, uh, foot. Reaching over the head, good, exhale both hands down on the floor, plank. And we're going to bring the right knee to the left elbow with as much control as you can possibly create. So we're not swaying around. One, two, three, either rest or give me two more. Four, five, Cobra or upward dog. Chaturanga and back to downward dog. Breathe. Inhale the left leg up. Step in between the hands. Drop the back heel down. And we melt the hands into warrior two. Take a nice strong warrior. Soften the gaze. Smile. Let's straighten the lead knee, hinging at the hips, reach way ahead of you and lower down. Keep opening the right hip, externally rotating the hip, lengthening the torso. Extended triangle pose, Uttita Trikonasana. Reaching maybe over the head to feel that length, that expansion. Exhale, both hands down, last, I promise. <sighs> Plank with knee tucks. So let's go, left knee to right elbow, pull the belly in. You can do it, you're strong. Stronger than you think you are. One, two, three, four, five, good. You can drop the knees down, sit back in child's pose, palms of the hands facing each other so that the shoulders are relaxing. Inhale, coming up, and we're gonna keep the knees hip width apart, coming up onto the knees. If standing on your knees bothers you, rest in child's pose for this next pose. Otherwise, tuck your tailbone under and press your hips forward so the hips will remain under, uh, above the knees. We're going to walk the hands onto the lower belly, either fingers, fingertips pointing up, if that's really difficult for you, they can point out and you will work your way over time 
and see how far you can line up your fingers up it's not important that you get there it's just the journey and walk the elbows back because this class is all about gratitude about our allies and friends and supporters and the people that walk through life with us they're alongside us so it's all about opening the heart and finding that gratitude and here you're going to extend the tailbone down open the chest and radiate through the heart up so we're lifting up through the chest rather than thinking we're just gonna go back into a back bend walk your elbows in press the hips forward you can even firm up your glutes also known as bute and you can contract the booty so that you can flex and that will allow you to stretch the front so we're contracting the antagonist muscle and stretching the opposing muscle so here you will lift through the heart up and breathe Good. Exhale. Child's pose. Good job. <sighs> Inhale the hands over the head. Tuck your toes under. One more time. Down dog. Take the right leg up. And let's step the right foot between the hands. Press the back heel away from you. Come up. High lunge. Exhale the hands behind you. If you can clasp, clasp. Otherwise, grab your t-shirt. Or you can grab a towel if you have nearby or just a piece of clothing. And here again, we're opening the chest. Softening the chest muscles. Expanding through the heart, lifting, walk your hands down the leg. And the next pose is a bit of a balancing pose, Humba Warrior. Lower down forehead towards your ankle. And to find your balance, press into the back heel. That will help you really stick it, stick the pose. great release the hands down i'll give you a little bit of an interesting move here flex your feet both of them are flexing and roll onto the outer edges of both feet and here you can keep your hands down or you can take one hand up on the hip up towards the ceiling and sit back into that right hip and you feel a nice stretch here opening the hips moving in new ways good great all right step it back i promise no more planks so we're gonna go down onto the chest onto the belly elbows in cobra down dog exhale and take the left leg up step it through high lunge Exhale the hands behind you, interlacing the fingers if you can. This time switch the grip. So the dominant finger is under, which allows you to challenge yourself, stepping out of your patterns, habits. Open the chest. Slowly exhale down, humble warrior. Press into the back heel. Beautiful. Bring both hands on the floor, on the inside of your right foot. And we're going to face the long side of the mat. Flexing the right foot. Lower down onto the left side, either all the way or a little higher up opposite side walking to the opposite side flex the foot pull the toes in one more time 
stretching the inner thighs very good and from here we're just going to find our way on the floor extend the legs in front of you and stretching lowering the chest over the legs forward bend inhale up lengthen the spine lower down a little bit inhale coming out of this and we're going to bend the knees lower down slowly onto your back right knee into the chest you can draw a few circles with the knee let's bring the knee across right shoulders on the floor left knee across the pine twist inhale coming out of this opposite side a few circles with the knee and bring the left knee towards your right Softening the belly. Coming out of this, you can lay down onto your back, allowing your body to relax, to soften, to let go, to be happy. And we'll lay here for a minute or two. Just observe your breath. Try to keep the mind empty and follow the breath.
and slowly begin to deepen your breath wiggle the toes and fingers moving the thumb keeping the eyes closed you can move them side to side right and left up down inhale your hands over the head and stretch point your toes reach over the head really stretch give it a good stretch bringing your awareness back to this room let's bend the knees and roll onto one side lay on your side for a moment embryo in the womb pose Imagine your umbilical cord traveling all the way to the center of the earth, connecting you with the earth, feeling safe, nurtured. Protected. And with your top hand, press yourself up. Into a seated cross-legged pose. Let's inhale the hands over the head. Exhale them over the third eye and you can blink your eyes open. And over the heart, sealing the benefits of the practice today. And let's bow to our hearts for their compassion, forgiveness, generosity, and love. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today for this class. Make sure to share this class with all your friends and relatives that you think might benefit from it. Spread the word for it. That's the best way to support the channel. Make sure you're subscribed so that you can come back tomorrow and practice with us again. And let me know how this class worked for you. Let me know if you have had some realizations about your friends and allies and have you realized about certain allies that you have that you have underappreciated and I'll see you tomorrow with class number nine. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste and remember to flow with strength and ease.